So here we are. We are at a home that is already under contract. There's our sold sign. So uh, I'm going to show you the floor plan anyway, just so you know what a Libertas here in Trilogy at Vistancia looks like. 1867 square feet, two bedroom, two bath, plus a den. This one actually has double doors on the den, which makes it nice and private, and then also um, allows you to make it a guest bedroom if you'd like. So let's take a look. So here we go. This one is a corner lot uh, here in Trilogy. Go ahead and walk up here. I just realized also we sold a house just at the other end of the street. Hi, Michelle and, or Shelly, I should say, and Chuck, our clients that live down there. You got new neighbors down here now. So here's the front courtyard. Comes with a little gate. These particular owners have put in a really cool paver um, landing here, I guess I should call it. <clears throat> Great for putting out um, patio chairs, enjoying your morning coffee or afternoon tea. So yeah, I will pause real quick in the courtyard here. It's a beautiful little courtyard. I'm gonna love showing you this, but I wanted to remind you to like and subscribe and comment with what you like about this home. And as you walk up here, They've got a security door on it. Very nice. Step on in the front door. The Libertas model is known for this sort of step wall. Some uh, people have removed it. And then in later models, I believe Shay actually, Shay Holmes actually um, stopped making the whole house with that step wall. But this home still has it. There's a beautiful hearth. Um, these are tile floors in here. They look like wood. The other thing that this model is known for is this piano-like island, piano-shaped like island. It's just huge. And uh, you can put a lot of bar stools around that, uh, make that kind of another eating place, casual eating. Otherwise, there is the dining area here, dining room here. They've chosen to put uh, can lighting in there, <clears throat> but really great kitchen. Um, yeah, they've got a full backsplash. This floor plan also has a really nice pantry closet. Uh, we'll go outside here real quick, just to show you what this lot looks like. Pretty typical lot size for Trilogy. I like that they've done all pavers out here on the patio. They've done a plot of synthetic turf. Very nice, easy to maintain. Over here on this side, you've got a fire pit area right by the hot tub. Perfect. It is a corner lot, <clears throat> which not everybody likes because it's a little less private, but as you can see, they've made it really private. Uh, you've got some really nice bushes over here, locking gate, and uh, they've got a privacy wall, of course, around the hot tub. So that makes it very nice. We'll go in and look at that office area I talked about. Double door office. I like this, um, again, because of these doors. <clears throat> Doesn't always have the doors, so it's really nice that the sellers have put this on. You can make this a guest room. It's not a huge room, but it's just fine for a small office or a small guest room. You've got the windows that overlook the courtyard as you're coming in, so that's nice. You've got the laundry area and the garage entry. We're gonna take a look at the master bedroom first. 
Another fine feature of this house, of this floor plan, is the bay window. Gives you just a little more space. It just feels more open with this bay window in here. So that's really nice. And this particular floor plan um, has 10 foot ceilings. So that's really nice. It feels very open. <clears throat> the master bathroom is set at an angle in this floor plan. Um, has two sinks separated and then there's just kind of this little niche shelf here. Water closet and then the walk-in shower is really nice. Nice walk-in shower with a little bench there. And these particular owners have the body sprays, the hand spray, and the regular shower head, which is very nice. Closet's good size in this floor plan too. It's not overly huge, but I think it's adequate. You got some shelving up there. You have even more room for more shelves too. So <clears throat> let's go take a look at the guest suite on the other side of the house. So it is a split floor plan, which is nice. Oh, I'll stop here at the door, show you that tile work. Very beautiful, rustic, but neutral. <clears throat> There's the sink. It is a raised sink, even in the guest bedroom. Nice garden sized tub. It's pretty typical for this floor plan too. And then sometimes you'll see a no another door here on this end, and that makes it private for this guest bedroom. They, these particular sellers opted not to put that in. So here you go, here's the guest bedroom. Again, it overlooks the front courtyard. Um, but a really nice size bedroom. I would probably say maybe 14 by 14. So really good sized. Let's take a quick peek at that laundry room. This is typical of a laundry room for this model. Uh, you've got some shelves or some cabinets with a little hang bar there. Sometimes you'll see um, they've installed a sink here. This particular model does not have it, or this particular home does not have it. And then the sellers have installed cabinets with a workbench. This seems like it is a typical size garage, but it does have this four foot extension here, uh, at least four feet. That's, that's a really nice space, so. There you go, there you have it. Some of your utilities over there. So I'll turn this around again and uh, yeah, make sure and let me know if you have any questions about this floor plan. Love to help you out and uh, find you your own Libertas here in Trilogy.